Hey everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Friels. I am back with another great case. This is called a ram's horn toenail. Um, the first one I remember, I was in my grandfather's office. I saw it and I'm like, what is this thing? And so he called it a ram's horn nail. I, I need to research if that's slang or if that's a medical term. Um, so what we're looking at here, and you can see all the way, can you see that side view, how it looks like a horn coming out here? In fact, I mean, you're really close to it digging um, into the toe of the bottom here. Have you had pain in that area? No. No, okay. But you did, you were telling me you had the band-aids here and then over here on this one here as well because then this nail's digging in. Okay, and so we were discussing how easy it is to trim. You've been using, um, what kind of cutter? Side cutter. Side cutters. What are those used for? Cut wires, stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, were you able to get any of this with a side cutter? Not after it got that far, I couldn't. Okay. It was very painful. It was very painful. So, I'm going to show you a little technique, a little trick at home that you can do. Um, we're going to trim all of them up. And you can see, even, if you come this way, Caitlin, under here, what I'm looking at is there's some debris that's stuck under there. Um, it's going to come out, too. So, I'll get the length of the nail, then we'll smooth everything down. Let me get these guys opened up. And then we'll go get some more um, some other instruments here. Oh, look, we've got one over here too. You have two. Look mm -hmm. at that little guy right there. Okay, so like I said, there's a specific way. Can you grab me some um, the YouTube instruments? Yes. yes, thank you. Got a special little rasp I want to use with this. I'm going to move your foot in okay. just a little. Is that comfortable? Yep. Okay, wonderful. So. How long do you think it's been since they've been kind of more normal length? Uh, I'll break them off. YouTube instruments? That's, that's a rasp, there's two, ask her. I'll break them off with the cutters. You break them off with a cutter? Yes, yes. Wow. I mean, are you bleeding? What are, what's the? No, I try not to get the skin. If I do, you know where I'm on a little bit of blood thinner, you know. Uh -huh. I have to really hold on Oh my gosh. Well, this is going to be so much easier for you. Number one, you're going to walk out feeling a thousand times better. And then we're going to take over and do this for you every couple of months if uh, you're okay with that. I, I'm okay with that. And I, we talked before how you've been dreading coming because oh, I you're have. so you ticklish. Just you just don't know. Am I torturing you right now? Am no. I doing okay? You're doing fine. Okay. A lot of times a little bit of pressure when yes. you're trimming helps as opposed to this kind of light, delicate touch. We were uh, talking about how <laughs> the reason he's ticklish, which I completely get it because my brother used and used to hold me down mm -hmm. and just, and even to this day, I'm, I'm just super ticklish. Yeah. I hate, I don't get pedicures. Number See, that's, my sister's trying to get me to do that, but I'm so ticklish and I don't want to do that. I didn't yeah. want to do that either. I don't blame you. Well. I try to barely touch the um, toe so you're not kind of getting that sensation that is you don't like. The Dremel may tickle a little bit, but I'll, we'll try to go real fast I with that. Rock, I, I walked in the rocks for like a month. What? I tried to toughen up my feet oh, yeah. before all this happened. It didn't help. <laughs> you know what? A for effort. Yeah. I would have never thought to do that. Yeah, I did. Looking better already. I know, guys, I'm holding the instruments the way you don't like. I have so many people that are um, invested. We have 100, at this point, 147,000 YouTube fans. Really? Uh-huh. And uh, they always comment on the way I hold it backwards like this. And the reason is, is because when you trim toenails all day long like, oops, like this, yes. the hand muscles fatigue. Fatigue. They fatigue. So this is stronger. Mm -hmm. Plus I have um, something called Ehlers-Danlos, which is a hypermobility disorder. And so it, it really gets quite weak and this is more stable oh. for me. All right, guys, let's get into the, to the, the Rams nail here. So what I'm doing is just gonna clip a little piece here. And a lot of times you'll notice it will follow its own line naturally. Doing okay? Yep. All right, we're almost, we're almost off there. Let's get over on this side. Boom. Two clips and it's off. Really? Uh-huh. 
So you can see all this debris, which we will get all of this out. Looks like just some sock fuzz. You probably so. I haven't took the pile up in there in about a week or two now. I use uh, toolbox tools. Oh my gosh. Well, you're fired. But that's all you got, that's what you use. <laughs> hey, I like it. Get innovative. I do got a dremel. I never thought about using a dremel. <laughs> I don't want to give you any ideas. No. My mom used to wrap hers in bags. In bags? Well, she'd cut everything up on it, and she would lotion it and wrap them in, put them in bags. Really? Yeah. You know what? Um, sometimes I, I recommend if people have really dry skin, mm -hmm. is to put that you know good cream that has a like urea acid in it. And then uh, wrap your feet in saran wrap. Saran wrap. Saran wrap, exactly. Leave it on all night. Go to oh, sleep. Okay. Yeah, uh, you put your sock on over top of it. What can I do? And um, wake up in the morning, take everything off nice and soft. Got my little, I ordered these instruments special for you guys watching. Got a little rasp here. See if we can't get in there. Are you okay? Yeah. You let me know if I'm okay. bothering you anyway. I just want to get some of that debris out. Okay. And then, like I said, we'll get that Dremel and get these rough edges. Anything's better than what it's got to be. <laughs> Were you? I was gonna say, were you having issues um, yes. wearing shoes? Yes. And I start. I started just in the last week. Really bad. Aww. Well, I'm so happy you came in. I mean, you can see how really easy bad. and not painful and. I kind of the trains walking in this nice place. I was like, oh wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Listen, I grew up on a farm. This place may look nice, but we're all country Kentucky girls here. <laughs> yeah, it does look nice. I can't get my partner, Jamie, to Dr. Carter, th to know the difference between seen and saw. Seen and saw. Seen and saw. Yep. Right. I'm like, Jamie, you're a doctor. Come on. <laughs> all right. So same thing over here. That debris is catching. So one, one foot down. Yep. Look at that one clip and it's off. Thank you. You know, I started with about 800 square feet by myself. By and yourself. By myself. Answering my own phones. Doing, it was just party of one. <laughs> that was 13 years ago. And you're here now. And I'm here now. And we actually just got a place upstairs. Oh wait, oops, that's supposed to be a secret. That's not out for the public yet. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I grew up in I my... I would have never thought about coming to a foot doctor. I'm going to be totally Really? Honest. That's something that... Oh, no. The way I was raised, you took care of it, did it. Well, well, my dad's one of 14, so unless you were bleeding or a bone was protruding, my, you're not going to the doctor. Yeah. You, we very seldom went to a doctor. Mom, she took care of us. It's just what it was. Mm-hmm. You laid, you were sick, you just sweated it out, and we went on. Oh. All right, who's ready for number two? So what I really like to do is get find a good angle to okay. get at, so I like this side. And sometimes it may not get as short as I like, but I'll just keep working at it, okay, until okay. I get it to where it's all cleaned up. And if it's, the other one had an easy opening. This one's not as easy, so what I'm gonna do, parallel here is just Get a little opening. I just want something I can grab. You're doing great. Thank you. I didn't know if you were, when you told me how ticklish you were, if you were going to be jumping or. Mm -mm. I'm going to try not to. <laughs> now I laid on a, on a cold table when they went through my leg to open up my heart. Oh my gosh. They couldn't do nothing for me. So I had to lay awake with all this. Oh gosh. I had a great doctor, though. That's always good. He was cool. It's hard to 
fine good doctor sometimes. I love Baptist Health. Look at that, and it's off. You can see how thick that is. I was cutting that with side cutters. Almost looks like a piece of coral. Perfect. Well, let's get in here and get all of this out. So this is all soft. And honestly, where it's been uh, over the skin for so long, you have to be really careful about how um, aggressive you're being because you don't want to get skin. A lot of times we'll see that it will uh, kind of, they'll grow together almost. Good. You ready to go dancing tonight? Uh, I'll just go to work after this. <laughs> but my feet's gonna feel better. And he, this is just the beginning. Once we get them all smoothed down and lotioned up, little massage, you'll be a happy camper. A big bite here, kind of get the thickness out of this. And since you're going to be coming regularly, yes, it's going to look better every time because, you know, this is just getting off the bulk of years of this uh, growth and buildup. So next time you come in, it's not going to be anything like it was. Mm. Let's see if we can get out of these little corners here. Especially the tip here. This thing's driving me nuts. See all that in there. Still comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Good, good, good. Well, how'd you find out about us? My brother in law. Oh, okay. They finally forced you to come in? Yeah, my sister's been on me. <laughs> and he has too, about coming here. She I said, You gotta quit treating your own feet. Yep. So you would have thought to go to a pedicurist. Well, I did at first. I don't trust them either. <laughs> Hang on two seconds, let me get a little Dremel. Got our Dremel here. All right, you let me know if it's ticklish, okay? I'll try to go fast, I don't wanna. You're fine. Okay, just trying to hold your foot a little firm. Caitlin, why don't you get um, Rob to order me some diamond head? Uh, little tips here. Those are easy to do. There we go. Again, I can stop at any time. Not a problem. You feel like you're a pedicure now? Yes. <laughs> Two seconds. Let me get a little... Spritz. Here we go. There. See, so just like working on a vehicle. <laughs> I've looked at getting one of those water ones. Gosh, those are expensive. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We'll come back on that corner here. <laughs> You're almost the one to jump in between. Well, we're almost done, and you've done great because, like you said, being on blood thinner always a risk. Yes, it is. And I don't think about it sometimes. Sure. I'm a lot of yeah, you just when you're talking about, mm, I got a Dremel at home. I want you to keep in mind. Yeah. Well, I don't like to use the Dremel. Yeah, the diamond head would be great. Okay, let's go over here. Clean up a little bit. We're almost done. This little edge in here. Just 
Sorry, girls, I've made a mess. I'm here. I mean, sorry, Caitlin. Sorry, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have done wonderful. What we gotta do is we're gonna get a nice warm washcloth and uh, get y'all cleaned up, okay? Yes, ma'am. And get your lotioned up. So next time, good. I want you to come in and, uh, you know, if you can put some Vaseline on the, or uh, not Vaseline, but um, thick Vapor Rub would be great to put on the toenails. That'll help soften them up. Thanks. So when you come back, mm -hmm. so when you come back, what we'll do is be able to get more and kind of deeper into this. Okay. It'll so help Vicks soften it. Big vapor rub. Okay. You got it. I would have never thought that. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget subscribe to the channel, comment below, and I'll see you next time.